Welcome to Real Talk, everyone. I'm Jonathan, and I'm thrilled to have you join me today for a deep dive into the exciting world of real estate investing. In this comprehensive session, we're going to unravel the mysteries of the BRRRR method, a strategy that has the potential to transform your investment journey and put you on the fast track to building wealth through real estate. Now, whether you're a seasoned investor looking to scale your portfolio, or you're just starting out and eager to learn the ropes, this session is tailored to provide you with a rock solid understanding of the BRRR method. We'll go over the process quick and then break down each step of the process and delve into the potential risks so you can navigate this approach with confidence and maximize your investment returns, so stick around to the end. The BRRRR method, for those unfamiliar, stands for Buy, Rehab, Rent, Refinance, and Repeat. These five simple yet powerful steps form a cyclical strategy that, when executed correctly, can help you build a robust real estate portfolio by leveraging the equity you build in one property to finance the next. It's like a snowball effect. As you roll through each cycle, your momentum grows and your portfolio expands. But before we get ahead of ourselves, I want to emphasize that while the BRRR method offers incredible potential, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires careful planning, meticulous execution, a deep understanding of the real estate market, and a commitment to continuous learning. So, if you're ready to roll up your sleeves, dive into the details, and discover how the BRRRRRR method can empower you to achieve your real estate investment goals. Buckle up and get ready for an information-packed session. Let's get started. Let's begin with the first step, buy. The foundation of the B method starts with purchasing a property. But not just any property, it's crucial to find a property that is undervalued or distressed. This means looking for homes that need some work, but have the potential to be transformed into valuable assets. When you're on the hunt for such properties, it's essential to conduct thorough research. Look into the neighborhood, the market trends, and the potential for appreciation. This step requires a keen eye and a strategic mindset. You want to ensure that the property you buy has the potential to generate significant returns after renovation. Once you've identified a promising property, the next step is to secure financing. This could be through traditional mortgages, hard money loans, or even private lenders. The key is to have a solid financial plan in place to fund the purchase and the subsequent renovation. Now let's move on to the second step, rehab. This is where the real transformation happens. The goal here is to renovate the property to increase its value. This could involve anything from minor cosmetic updates to major structural repairs. The extent of the rehab will depend on the condition of the property and your budget. During the rehab phase, it's crucial to work with reliable contractors and have a clear plan for the renovations. This includes setting a budget, creating a timeline, and ensuring that all necessary permits are obtained. Effective project management is key to staying on track and within budget. Once the rehab is complete, we move on to the third step, rent. The goal here is to find reliable tenants who will provide a steady stream of rental income. This step is vital because the rental income will help cover the mortgage payments and other expenses associated with the property. To attract quality tenants, it's important to market the property effectively. This includes taking high quality photos, writing compelling listings, and showcasing the property's best features. Additionally, conducting thorough background checks and screening potential tenants can help ensure that you find responsible and reliable renters. With tenants in place and rental income flowing, we move on to the fourth step, refinance. This step involves refinancing the property to pull out the equity that has been built through the rehab and rental phases. 
The goal is to secure a new loan with better terms, which can provide additional funds for future investments. Refinancing can be a powerful tool to leverage the increased value of the property. By pulling out the equity, you can use these funds to purchase and rehab additional properties, thereby expanding your portfolio. It's important to work with a knowledgeable lender who can help you navigate the, the refinancing process and secure favorable terms. Finally, we come to the fifth step, repeat. This is where the cyclical nature of the BRRRRR method comes into play. With the funds from the refinance, you can go back to the first step and purchase another property. By repeating this process, you can continue to build your real estate portfolio and generate wealth over time. The beauty of the BRRRR method lies in its scalability. As you gain experience and build your portfolio, you can take on larger projects and more properties. This method allows you to leverage the equity in your properties to fuel further growth, creating a snowball effect that can lead to significant wealth accumulation. However, it's important to remember that the BRRRR method is not without its challenges. Each step requires careful planning, execution, and management. There are risks involved, such as market fluctuations, unexpected renovation costs, and tenant issues. It's crucial to be prepared for these challenges and have contingency plans in place. To mitigate these risks, continuous learning and staying informed about market trends are essential. Networking with other investors, attending real estate seminars, and seeking advice from experienced professionals can provide valuable insights and help you navigate the complexities of real estate investing. So, if you're ready to take your real estate investing to the next level, Embrace the BRRRR method and start your journey towards financial freedom. Remember, success in real estate investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay focused, stay informed, and keep pushing forward. Thank you for joining me today. Now let's dive deeper and break each step down. Let's kick things off by establishing a clear understanding of what the BRRRR method entails. This method has become a cornerstone for many successful real estate investors, and for good reason. It offers a systematic approach to building wealth through real estate, leveraging the power of reinvestment and equity growth. At its core, the BRRRR method is a real estate investment strategy designed to maximize returns through the continuous reinvestment of equity. This method stands for buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat. Each step is crucial and builds upon the previous one, creating a cycle that can significantly accelerate your portfolio growth. It's about creating a self-sustaining loop where each investment fuels the next, propelling your portfolio growth. Imagine a snowball effect, where each successful investment adds more momentum to your overall strategy, allowing you to scale your real estate holdings more rapidly than traditional methods. Now let's break down the five steps of the BRRR method in more detail. Understanding each phase thoroughly will equip you with the knowledge to implement this strategy effectively and avoid common pitfalls. 1. Buy. The first step is to acquire a distressed property at a lower market value. This is where your journey begins. Finding the right property is crucial as it sets the foundation for the entire B R R R R R R process. We're talking about properties that need some work, foreclosures, short sales, or properties that have been neglected and are ripe for renovation. These properties often come with a lower price tag, providing an opportunity to add significant value through improvements. The key here is to buy low so that you have room to add value and increase the property's worth. Negotiating effectively and conducting thorough due diligence are essential skills at this stage. Look for properties in promising neighborhoods 
for your improvements will be most appreciated. 2. Rehab. This is where the magic happens. The rehab phase is all about transforming a distressed property into a desirable home. This step requires careful planning and execution to ensure that the renovations are both cost effective and impactful. Once you've acquired a distressed property, it's time to roll up your sleeves and transform it into a desirable home that will attract quality tenants. This phase involves a range of activities, from minor repairs to major overhauls depending on the property's condition. This phase involves renovations, repairs, and upgrades that enhance the property's appeal and increase its market value. Focus on improvements that offer the highest return on investment, such as kitchen and bathroom upgrades, new flooring, and fresh paint. Don't forget about curb appeal. First impressions matter. Three, rent. With the property rehabbed and ready, it's time to start generating income. This phase is about finding reliable tenants who will pay rent on time, take care of the property, and contribute to your positive cash flow. The rent phase is about finding reliable tenants who will pay rent on time, take care of the property, and contribute to your positive cash flow. Effective tenant screening is crucial here. Look for tenants with a stable income, good rental history, and a clean background check. Four, refinance. This step is where the BRAR R method truly shines. Refinancing allows you to access the equity you've built in the property, providing the funds needed to continue growing your portfolio. After renting out the property and building equity through mortgage payments and appreciation, you can refinance the property to access the equity you've created. This process involves taking out a new mortgage to replace the original one, ideally at a lower interest rate. This equity can then be used to fund your next BRRR investment. The goal is to pull out as much equity as possible while keeping your monthly payments manageable. Work with a knowledgeable mortgage broker to explore your refinancing options and find the best terms. Five, repeat. As the name suggests, the final step is to simply repeat the process. This is where the BRRR method's power truly comes into play allowing you to scale your investments and build wealth over time. Use the equity you've pulled out from your refinance property to purchase another distressed property, rehab it, rent it out, refinance, and continue the cycle to build a substantial real estate portfolio over time. Each cycle should ideally be more efficient and profitable as you gain experience and refine your strategy. The beauty of the BRRR method lies in its ability to accelerate your portfolio growth without requiring you to constantly save up for large down payments. By leveraging the equity you build in one property, you can unlock the funds needed to acquire more properties and multiply your returns exponentially. By leveraging the equity you build in one property, you can unlock the funds needed to acquire more properties and multiply your returns exponentially. This compounding effect can significantly boost your wealth over time, making the Bree BRR method a powerful tool for real estate investors. However, it's crucial to remember that rapid growth comes with its own set of challenges. Managing multiple properties, dealing with tenant issues, and Navigating the refinancing process can be complex and time consuming. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of scaling quickly, but it's essential to maintain financial discipline, manage your debt carefully, and avoid overextending yourself. Work with a financial advisor to develop a solid plan for managing your investments and mitigating risks. Before we delve deeper, into each phase of the BRRR method. Take a moment to reflect on your current investment approach. Consider your long-term goals, risk tolerance, and available resources. How does the BRRR method align with your overall strategy? 
Do you prioritize long-term appreciation, focus on generating cash flow, or aim for a balance of both? Understanding your priorities will help you make informed decisions and tailor the BRRRR method to suit your needs. How might the BRRRR method complement your existing strategy and help you achieve your investment objectives more effectively? By integrating this method into your overall plan, you can create a cohesive and dynamic approach to real estate investing that maximizes your potential for success. Networking with other real estate investors can also provide valuable insights and support. Attend seminars, join investment groups, and seek out mentors who have successfully implemented the bar art method. Learning from others' experiences can help you avoid common mistakes and accelerate your learning curve. Continuous education is key to staying ahead in the real estate game. Read books, follow market trends, and stay informed about changes in the real estate market. The more knowledge you have, the better equipped you'll be to make smart investment decisions. Utilize technology to streamline your investment process. Real estate software can help you analyze properties, track expenses, and manage your portfolio more efficiently. Embracing technology can give you a competitive edge and make the BRR method even more effective. In conclusion, the BRRRR method offers a powerful framework for building wealth through real estate. By following the steps of buy, rehab, rent, refinance, and repeat, you can create a self-sustaining cycle that accelerates your portfolio growth and maximizes your returns. Remember, success in real estate investing requires patience, discipline, and a willingness to learn and adapt. Stay focused on your goals, continuously refine your strategy, and leverage the power of the BRRR method to achieve real estate success. The foundation of a successful BRRRR investment lies in the buy phase. Finding the right distressed property that offers the potential for significant value appreciation. This phase is crucial because it sets the stage for the entire investment process. Without a solid buy, the subsequent phases, rehab, rent, refinance and repeat, won't yield the desired results. Therefore, Understanding how to identify and acquire the right property is a skill that every BRRR investor must master. But it's not just about finding a cheap property. It's about identifying opportunities that others might overlook and recognizing the hidden potential beneath the surface. This means looking beyond the obvious flaws and seeing what the property could become with the right vision and investment. It's about having the foresight to see a diamond in the rough and the courage to take on a project that others might shy away from. When we talk about distressed properties, we're referring to homes that are often in poor condition, requiring repairs, renovations, or upgrades to restore them to their former glory. These properties can be found in various states of disrepair, from minor cosmetic issues to major structural problems. The key is to assess the extent of the work needed and determine whether the investment will be worth it in the end. These properties might be foreclosures, short sales, or simply homes that have been neglected over time. Each type of distressed property comes with its own set of challenges and opportunities. Foreclosures, for example, can often be purchased at a significant discount, but they may also come with legal and financial complications. Short sales can be a great way to acquire a property below market value, but they often require patience and negotiation skills. Neglected homes, on the other hand, might be easier to acquire, but could require extensive renovations. The key to finding these hidden gems is to look beyond the cosmetic imperfections and see the potential that lies beneath. This requires a keen eye for detail and the ability to envision what the property could look like after renovations. It's about seeing past the peeling paint, broken fixtures, 
and overgrown yards to the potential for a beautiful, functional home that will attract tenants and generate income. This requires a keen eye for detail, a solid understanding of construction costs, and the ability to envision the property's transformation after renovations. It's not enough to simply see the potential. You also need to understand what it will take to realize that potential. This means having a good grasp of construction and renovation costs, as well as the ability to manage a renovation project effectively. It also means being able to work with contractors and other professionals to get the job done right. So where do you find these distressed properties? The search for distressed properties can be both exciting and challenging. It requires a combination of um, research, networking, and sometimes a bit of luck. There are several places to look, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. While the multiple listing service, MLS, can be a valuable resource, savvy BRRRR investors often tap into a wider network to uncover off-market deals. The MLS is a great place to start, but it's not the only place to look. Off-market deals can often be found through networking and building relationships with key players in the real estate industry. A realtor with a strong knowledge of investment properties is always a great tool to use. They build relationships with real estate agents, wholesalers, contractors, and even banks to gain access to properties before they hit the open market. These relationships can be invaluable in finding deals that others might miss. Real estate agents can provide insights into upcoming listings. While wholesalers often have access to properties that are not yet on the market, contractors can also be a great source of leads as they often know about properties that need work. Even banks can be a valuable resource as they sometimes have foreclosed properties that they are looking to sell quickly. Let me share a story about an investor named Sarah who mastered the art of the buy phase. Sarah's journey is a great example of how to successfully navigate the buy phase of the BRRRR method. Her story illustrates the importance of research, networking, and having a clear vision for what a property can become. Sarah had been investing in single family rentals for a few years and decided to explore the BRRR method to accelerate her portfolio growth. She realized that the BRRR method could help her acquire more properties more quickly, allowing her to build her portfolio and generate more income. She spent weeks researching neighborhoods, analyzing market trends, and networking with local real estate professionals. Sarah knew that finding the right property was crucial so she put in the time and effort to understand the market and identify the best opportunities. She attended real estate events, joined local investment groups, and spent hours online researching different neighborhoods and market trends. Her efforts paid off when she connected with a realtor who had knowledge of investing, who was willing to make calls to off-market properties to help her find a property in a transitioning neighborhood. This connection was a game changer for Sarah. The realtor had found several properties that were not yet on the market, giving Sarah the opportunity to acquire a great deal before anyone else. The house was a disaster. Peeling paint, overgrown weeds, and a leaky roof. At first glance, it didn't look like much, but Sarah saw the potential. She knew that with the right renovations, the property could be transformed into a beautiful home that would attract tenants and generate income. But Sarah saw past the cosmetic challenges and recognized the potential. She had a vision for what the property could become and the determination to make it happen. She knew that the location was great and that the neighborhood was on the upswing, which meant that the property would likely appreciate in value over time. The property was located in a desirable school district close to amenities 
and the neighborhood was showing signs of revitalization, uh, these factors made the property even more attractive uh, as they would help to ensure that it would be easy to rent out uh, and that it would appreciate in value over time. Sarah did her due diligence, crunched the numbers, and determined that the property, even with the necessary repairs, could be acquired and renovated at a price that would allow her to refinance and pull out significant equity. She carefully calculated the cost of the renovations, the potential rental income, and the after repair value, ARV, of the property. She also considered the potential for appreciation in the neighborhood and the overall market trends, all with the help of her realtor. This is the essence of the buy phase. Identifying properties with the potential to generate substantial returns through strategic acquisition and renovation. It's about finding the right property, doing the necessary research and analysis, and having a clear plan for how to transform the property and maximize its value. Think about the last property you considered purchasing. What factors did you consider? How did you evaluate its potential? These are important questions to ask yourself as you navigate the buy phase of the BRRR method. How did you evaluate its potential? Did you look beyond the cosmetic issues and see the potential for what the property could become? Did you consider the costs of repairs and renovations as well as the potential rental income and appreciation? Did you factor in the cost of repairs, the neighborhood's growth potential, and the likely after repair value, ARV. These are all crucial factors to consider when evaluating a potential Brewer investment. It's important to have a clear understanding of the costs and potential returns before making a decision. The buy phase is all about making informed decisions based on thorough research and analysis to set the stage for a successful or ERR investment. By taking the time to do your homework and carefully evaluate each potential property, you can increase your chances of success and build a profitable real estate portfolio. Once you've secured a promising distressed property, the real magic begins in the rehab phase. This is where you roll up your sleeves, put on your renovation hat, and transform a diamond in the rough into a shining gem that will attract quality tenants and command top dollar in the rental market. The scope of the rehab will vary depending on the property's condition and your investment goals. Some properties might only require cosmetic upgrades, fresh paint, new flooring, updated fixtures, while others might need more extensive work such as roof repairs, plumbing overhauls, or even structural improvements. The key to a successful rehab is to strike a balance between maximizing the property's value and staying within budget. It's easy to get carried away with high-end finishes and luxury upgrades, but it's crucial to remember that your goal is to create a functional, appealing, and rentable property that generates a solid return on investment. Before you swing the first hammer, it's essential to develop a detailed rehab plan and budget. This plan should outline the scope of work, materials needed, labor costs, and a contingency fund for unexpected expenses. Remember, surprises happen in renovations, so it's always wise to have a financial cushion to absorb unforeseen costs. Welcome back to Real Talk. Today we're diving into one of the most exciting and rewarding phases of the Burr RR method, the rent phase. This is where all your hard work starts to pay off and you begin to see the fruits of your labor. We've journeyed through the buy and rehab phases of the BRRRR method. And now it's time to breathe life into your newly renovated property and transform it into a profitable rental that generates consistent cash flow. This phase is crucial because it sets the stage for long-term financial success and stability. 
Remember that empty property you poured your heart and soul into renovating? It's now a blank canvas ready to become a home for someone. The transformation from a vacant house to a vibrant living space is not just about aesthetics. It's about creating a welcoming environment that tenants will love and care for. It's time to shift gears from rehab mode to rental mode and attract those high quality tenants who will appreciate your hard work and contribute to your financial success. Finding the right tenants is like finding the right partner. It requires patience, diligence, and a clear understanding of what you're looking for. The rent phase is all about finding the perfect balance between maximizing your rental income and attracting and retaining responsible long-term tenants. This balance is key to ensuring that your property remains occupied and well maintained, providing you with a steady stream of income and reducing the risk of costly vacancies and repairs. It's about creating a win-win situation where your tenants have a comfortable and enjoyable living experience and you enjoy consistent cash flow and peace of mind. Happy tenants are more likely to stay longer, pay their rent on time, and take good care of the property, which ultimately benefits you as the landlord. But before you can start collecting rent checks and watching the profits roll in, there are a few crucial steps to take. These steps are essential to setting the foundation for a successful rental property and ensuring that you attract the right tenants. From preparing your property to setting the right rent and screening potential tenants, each step in the rent phase plays a vital role in your overall BRRR success. Let's break down these steps in more detail to ensure you have a comprehensive understanding of what it takes to succeed in this phase. Pause. Think back to your own experiences as a renter or imagine yourself as a tenant looking for a new home. What were the key factors that influenced your decision? Was it the location, the amenities, the price, or perhaps the overall feel of the property? What factors are most important to you when choosing a rental property? Understanding these factors from a tenant's perspective will help you make informed decisions that will attract the right tenants to your property. What amenities or features would make a property stand out from the competition? Modern amenities, such as updated appliances, in-unit laundry, and high-speed internet, can make a significant difference in attracting tenants. Additionally, features like ample storage, outdoor space, and energy-efficient systems can add value to your property. Keeping the tenant's perspective in mind will help you make strategic decisions throughout the rent phase. For example, investing in quality finishes and maintaining the property well can lead to higher tenant satisfaction and retention. Regular communication and responsiveness to tenant needs can also foster a positive landlord-tenant relationship, which is crucial for long-term success. Another important aspect of the rent phase is property management. Whether you choose to manage the property yourself or hire a professional property management company, Effective management is key to ensuring that your property remains in good condition and your tenants are happy. This includes regular maintenance, prompt repairs, and addressing any tenant concerns in a timely manner. Setting the right rent price is also crucial. You want to ensure that your rent is competitive with similar properties in the area, while also covering your expenses and providing a reasonable profit. Conducting a thorough market analysis and understanding the rental trends in your area can help you set a fair and attractive rent price. Tenant screening is another critical step in the rent phase. A thorough screening process can help you identify responsible and reliable tenants who are likely to pay their rent on time and take good care of the property. This process typically includes background checks, credit checks, and verifying employment and rental history. Once you've found the right tenants, it's important to have a clear and comprehensive lease agreement in place. This agreement should outline the terms and conditions of the rental 
including the rent amount, payment due dates, maintenance responsibilities, and any rules or regulations for the property. A well-drafted lease can help prevent misunderstandings and disputes down the line. Finally, maintaining a positive relationship with your tenants is essential for long-term success. Regular check-ins, prompt responses to maintenance requests, and showing appreciation for your tenants can go a long way in fostering a positive and respectful landlord-tenant relationship. Happy tenants are more likely to renew their lease and recommend your property to others. The rent phase is not just about generating immediate cash flow. It's also about building equity and increasing the value of your property over time. By maintaining the property well and keeping it occupied with responsible tenants, you can enhance its value and potentially leverage it for future investments. In conclusion, the rent phase is a critical component of the BRRRR method that requires careful planning, strategic decision making, and effective management. By focusing on attracting and retaining high quality tenants, setting the right rent price, and maintaining a positive landlord-tenant relationship, you can maximize your rental income and build long-term equity. We've already explored the buy, rehab, and rent phases of the BRRRR method. Each of these stages plays a vital role in building a strong foundation for your real estate investments. But now it's time to unlock the true magic of this powerful strategy, refinancing. This stage is where all your hard work and strategic planning come together to create a cycle of continuous growth and opportunity. Refinancing is the stage where your BRRRR investment truly comes full circle. It's the moment when you can access the equity you've built up through your diligent efforts and use it to fuel your next real estate venture. Imagine standing in front of your beautifully renovated property, holding the keys to your success and knowing that this is just the beginning. Remember that distressed property you transformed into a profitable rental? The journey from a rundown house to a desirable rental unit was no small feat. Through strategic renova re renovations, you've not only increased the property's value, but also created a welcoming home for your tenants. This transformation is a testament to your vision and hard work. As your tenants move in and start paying rent, you begin to see the fruits of your labor. The consistent rental income not only covers your mortgage payments, but also contributes to your overall cash flow. Over time, this steady income helps you chip away at your mortgage principal, building precious equity along the way. This equity is the cornerstone of your refinancing strategy. Refinancing is the key to unlocking that equity and putting it back to work for you. By replacing your existing mortgage with a new loan, often at a lower interest rate or with more favorable terms, you can tap into the cash you've built up. This cash can then be used to fund your next PRR investment, creating a cycle of growth and opportunity. Imagine holding a check in your hand, representing the equity you've unlocked through refinancing. This cash infusion can be the catalyst for your next real estate venture. Whether it's purchasing another distressed property to renovate or expanding your portfolio with a new rental unit, refinancing gives you the financial flexibility to take the next step. Think of it as a financial domino effect. One strategic refinance can set off a chain reaction, propelling your real estate portfolio growth and putting you on the fast track to financial freedom. Each successful refinance builds on the previous one, creating a momentum that drives your investment strategy forward. But before you rush into a refinance, it's crucial to understand the process, weigh the potential benefits and risks, and approach this critical step with the same diligence and strategic thinking you've applied throughout your BRRRRR journey. Refinancing is not just about accessing cash. It's about making informed decisions that align with your long-term goals. 
Start by consulting with a knowledgeable mortgage advisor who can guide you through the refinancing process. They can help you understand the different loan options available, the current interest rates, and the terms that best suit your financial situation. A good advisor will also help you assess the costs associated with refinancing, such as closing costs and fees, to ensure that the benefits outweigh the expenses. One of the primary benefits of refinancing is the potential to secure a lower interest rate. Even a small reduction in your interest rate can lead to significant savings over the life of your loan. Lower interest rates mean lower monthly payments, which can improve your cash flow and increase your overall profitability. It's essential to run the numbers and calculate the potential savings to determine if refinancing makes financial sense for you. Your credit score plays a crucial role in the refinancing process. Lenders use your credit score to assess your credit worthiness and determine the interest rate you'll qualify for. Before applying for a refinance, take the time to review your credit report and address any issues that may be affecting your score. Paying down debt, making timely payments, and correcting any errors in your credit report can help improve your credit score and increase your chances of securing a favorable loan. Another critical factor in the refinancing process is the property appraisal. Lenders will require an appraisal to determine the current market value of your property. This appraisal will play a significant role in determining how much equity you can access through refinancing. It's essential to prepare for the appraisal by ensuring your property is in good condition and highlighting any improvements you've made, a higher appraisal value can increase the amount of cash you can access. Once you've completed the necessary steps and secured a favorable loan, it's time to finalize the refinance. This involves signing the refinance documents and officially replacing your existing mortgage with the new loan. The process may take some time, but the end result is worth it. With the refinance complete, you'll have access to the equity you've built up, providing you with the financial resources to pursue your next real estate investment. With the cash from your refinance in hand, you can start planning your next investment. Whether you're looking to purchase another distressed property to renovate or expand your portfolio with a new rental unit, the possibilities are endless. Use the lessons you've learned from your previous B investments to make informed decisions and continue building your real estate empire. Networking with other real estate professionals and staying informed about market trends can also help you identify new opportunities and make strategic investments. Attend real estate seminars, join local investment groups, and connect with experienced investors who can offer valuable insights and advice. The more knowledge and connections you have, the better equipped you'll be to navigate the ever-changing real estate landscape. As you continue to grow your real estate portfolio, it's essential to keep your long-term financial goals in mind. Refinancing is just one tool in your investment strategy, but it's a powerful one that can help you achieve financial freedom and build lasting wealth. Stay focused, stay informed, and keep pushing forward on your BRRR journey. In conclusion, the refinance stage is a pivotal moment in the BRRRR method that can significantly impact your real estate growth. By understanding the process, making informed decisions, and leveraging the equity you've built, you can create a cycle of continuous growth and opportunity. So take the time to plan, consult with experts, and execute your refinance strategy with confidence. Your real estate empire awaits. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the refinance stage of the BRRRR method. We hope you found this information valuable and inspiring. Stay tuned for more real estate insights and strategies on Real Talk. Until next time, happy investing. Welcome back to Real Talk. Today we're diving deep into a strategy that has the potential to transform your real estate investments and set you on a path to exponential growth. If you've been following our series, 
You know we've covered the first four phases of the BRRRRR method buy, rehab, rent, refinance. But today we're focusing on the final and perhaps most crucial phase, repetition. We've journeyed through the first four phases of the BRRRRR method buy, rehab, rent, refinance. And now it's time to unleash the true power of this strategy repetition. This phase is where the magic truly happens. It's where your hard work and strategic planning start to pay off in a big way. By repeating the Burj cycle, you can turn individual real estate projects into a powerful wealth building engine. This is where your BRRR SARS RS, R investments transform from individual projects into a dynamic system, a wealth building engine that generates momentum with each cycle. Imagine each property as a cog in a well-oiled machine, each one contributing to the overall efficiency and power of your investment strategy. The more properties you add, the more powerful the machine becomes and the faster you can achieve your financial goals. Remember that feeling of accomplishment when you refinanced your first BRRRR property, tapping into the equity you created and freeing up capital for your next investment? That moment is a pivotal one in your journey. It's a tangible sign that your efforts are paying off and that you're on the right track. But it's just the beginning. Each refinance is a stepping stone to your next project. And each project brings you closer to financial freedom. That's the magic of repetition in action. Each successful cycle builds on the last, creating a compounding effect that accelerates your growth. It's like planting a tree and watching it grow. With each cycle, you're not just adding another branch. You're strengthening the entire tree, making it more robust and capable of producing more fruit. Each time you complete a BRRRR cycle, you're not just adding another property to your portfolio, you're multiplying your returns and accelerating your path to financial freedom. Think of each property as a building block. Individually, they have value, but together they create a strong foundation for your financial future. The more blocks you add, the higher and more stable your financial structure becomes. You're multiplying your returns and accelerating your path to financial freedom. Each property you add to your portfolio increases your cash flow, equity, and overall net worth. It's a powerful cycle that, when repeated, can lead to exponential growth. The key is to stay focused, stay disciplined, and keep pushing forward, even when challenges arise. Think of it like a snowball rolling downhill. It starts small, but as it gains momentum, it picks up more snow, growing larger and more powerful with each rotation. This metaphor perfectly captures the essence of the Bro R method. Your initial investment might seem small, but with each cycle, it grows, gaining more value and generating more income. It starts small, but as it gains momentum, it picks up more snow, growing larger and more powerful with each rotation. This is the power of compounding in action. Each successful Brewer R cycle adds to your momentum, making it easier to tackle the next project and achieve even greater success. The key is to keep the snowball rolling, never letting it lose its momentum. That's the power of repetition in the BRRRR method. Each cycle builds on the last, creating a powerful compounding effect that accelerates your growth. It's like a flywheel. Once you get it spinning, it takes on a life of its own, generating more and more energy with each turn. The more you repeat the cycle, the more powerful your investment engine becomes. Each successful cycle adds fuel to the fire, propelling your portfolio growth and creating a snowball effect of wealth creation. The more properties you add, the more income you generate and the more equity you build. This in turn allows you to take on even more projects, further accelerating your growth. It's a virtuous cycle that, when managed correctly, can lead to incredible financial success. But repetition isn't about blindly replicating the same process over and over again. It's about learning from each BRRRR cycle 
refining your strategies and adapting to changing market conditions. The real estate market is dynamic and what worked in one cycle might not work in the next. The key is to stay flexible, stay informed, and be willing to adjust your approach as needed. It's about learning from each bra cycle, refining your strategies, and adapting to changing market conditions. Each cycle is an opportunity to learn and grow. By analyzing your successes and failures, you can identify what works and what doesn't allowing you to make more informed decisions in the future. This continuous improvement is what sets successful investors apart from the rest. It's about building upon your successes, learning from your mistakes, and continuously improving your approach to maximize your returns with each iteration. Each project is a learning experience, and each lesson learned is a valuable tool in your investment toolkit. By staying committed to the process, and always striving to improve, you can achieve incredible success with the BRRR method. As we reach the culmination of our BRRRR deep dive, it's time to reflect on the incredible potential of this powerful strategy and how it can empower you to achieve your real estate investing dreams. We've journeyed through each phase of the BRRR cycle buy rehab, rent refinance repeat. Uncovering the intricacies, the challenges, and the extraordinary rewards that await those who dare to embrace this proven path to wealth creation. Remember, that distressed property you envisioned transforming into a profitable rental, the one that seemed out of reach, a distant dream reserved for seasoned investors, with deep pockets, the BRRRR method levels the playing field, providing a roadmap, a blueprint for turning those dreams into tangible reality. It's a strategy that empowers you to take control of your financial future, build a legacy of wealth for yourself and your loved ones, and achieve a level of financial freedom you once thought impossible. But the BRRR method is more than just a set of steps. It's a mindset, a commitment to taking action, and a belief in your ability to create the life you desire. It's about embracing challenges as opportunities for growth, viewing setbacks as stepping stones to success, and never losing sight of your long-term vision. Until next time, this is Jonathan signing off from Real Talk. Happy investing. Hey there, fellow real estate enthusiasts. We're so glad that you stuck around to the end of this episode. Your commitment to learning and growing this industry is what keeps us going. And we're beyond thrilled to have you as part of our Real Talk community. As a special thank you for your dedication, we've got something a little exciting uh, lined up for you here in our next episode. And I want to give you an exclusive sneak peek. Picture this. Starting with just $37,500 in investment, and turning it into two booming sales, totaling $180,000. Sounds incredible, right? But that's just the beginning. We want to take, we want you to take a moment and think, how do you think we did this? I'm really eager to hear your guesses, so drop them in the comments below. Engage with us, share your thoughts, and let us see if anyone can crack the code of what really happened here before we make the big reveal. But wait, as I said, that was just the beginning. After those impressive sales, we were left with a fully renovated rental property, completely paid off, just waiting to generate consistent passive income every single month. It's a dream scenario for any real estate investor. And we're gonna walk you through exactly how we made it happen, step by step. This up and coming episode is packed with valuable insights, actionable tips, and the kind of real world examples that you can take with you in your investing game to move you up to the next level. You won't want to miss this one, I promise. It's the kind of knowledge that can make a real difference in your journey. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing, you don't want to miss this episode when it drops. And get ready to take a deep dive with us next time. We're going to break down every step of this amazing transformation, sharing strategies, challenges, 
and the breakthrough that led us to the success story. Until then, keep investing smart, keep your eyes on the prize, and remember, the real estate market is full of opportunities waiting for you to seize them. Whether you're just starting out or a seasoned pro, there's always something new to learn. And we're going to help you with that every step of the way. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Real Talk. We'll see you in the next one where the journey continues and the real possibilities are endless.